what's up hey what's good what's popping i am miss barry welcome back to my channel i appreciate you guys for sliding through and coming to kick it with me y'all we looking a little dimmer today because i just i got a headache i'm not really trying to have all these lights flashing in my face but anyway guys as you can see from the title we're getting up into this elvis presley press conference 1960 now this was recommended by one of you guys and i appreciate you guys well i pre appreciate you for um you know sending me this request sir like thank you y'all know that i'm getting into these elvis interviews because like i want to see more of him outside of music you know i want to see how he talk how he interact and just different things that i didn't get a chance to see that i want to know so i'm pretty excited about it and if you guys have not seen my other um elvis interview that i've done i guess you could say it's like a little interview as to like the other reaction that i've recently done elvis not acting right even though i don't understand how he wasn't acting right but whatever then after this video you know take a stroll on my channel and take a look but y'all i'm trying to talk fast so we can hurry to get up into it so let's hurry to get up into it because i'm ready to see elvis <laughs> y'all right, so let's go ahead and get straight up into it and then i have the the picture with mr wallace and then, uh after that i have two for 20th century fox and after that heaven knows i don't <laughs> uh, oh I my god he looks this year, you know? can we just take a moment like y'all why is pause right now can we just take a moment to admire just how freaking handsome elvis was like he's so handsome that he looks like a he don't look like a girl but don't you know how they say like if a boy if you constantly think a boy is a girl or keep saying oh my god she you know like like you must just you must be handsome type of thing but it's just he looks unreal like they don't make them like this anymore they don't make no let me stop y'all i'm sorry for those who got headphones i'm just doing too much i'm being dramatic and sarcastic and well not sarcastic but i'm joking y'all actually i don't know well elvis now you're really home how does it feel it's pretty hard to describe i'll tell you it, so this it, was it's after the army to, you know i mean i've been looking forward to it for two years and all of a sudden here yeah. it is it's uh it's not easy to adjust to it now that you are back just you look back on your two years in the service what was the uh, most important thing? I need to go look at his daughter. I need to go look at his daughter because I'm sorry I keep pausing y'all because now in my mind, what's going on? Because now in my mind, I'm sitting here looking like the way he looking at his, I know his child got to look like he, something. He had to leave something on this earth, something. Did she have kids? Like, I'm going to have to go research this. Unless y'all gonna tell me. <laughs> Whether it was overseas or here in the state. Well, there were a number of things that happened. Uh, had quite a few interesting experiences. Slip out in the snow. <laughs> HC rations, you know, all the regular thing. But uh, I suppose the the biggest thing of all is the fact that I I did make it. I made it just like everybody. I mean, I tried to play it straight, you know, like everybody else. And uh, I made a lot of friends that I never would have made otherwise. And uh, all in all, it's been a pretty good experience, you know. You still have time to serve <coughs> now for Uncle Sam. Have you given any thought as to where you're going to serve your reserve training? Well, sir, uh, I will be on the reserve status here in Memphis at the reserve center here. But uh, they have a, a clause which covers people with traveling jobs. Uh, if you have a traveling job or if you live too far away from your reserve center, they put you on uh, standby. Okay, yeah. Uh, whereas uh, you don't have to make their meetings, but you are uh, subject to be called in any emergency or anything of that nature. Elvis, one of your future commitments, as you mentioned, is the Frank Sinatra show on the ABC television network. Do you have any idea of when this will be aired? I really don't know the exact date. He's so just chill, y'all. somewhere around the 1st of May. 
if you'll forgive me, I have one other part to my question. We understand, okay. uh, speaking of Frank Sinatra, that there has been some rumor about uh, Nancy Sinatra and yourself. Is there a romance in the making here? <laughs> uh, Lord Jesus, save us! No, I'm sorry, y'all keep yelling. At this point, I should just, you know, give y'all a warning beforehand, but I don't know when I'm going to scream. <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to scream. I need to call my mama and tell her, Ma, I'm watching your boo. My mom loved her, some Elvis, y'all. I've said this in my previous videos that I've reacted to of Elvis. You know, if you guys have not seen that, after this video, go take a walk. No, I'm afraid not. I only met her in Fort Dix. And uh, she she gave me a, a gift from, from, from Frank. And uh, it was very brief. I think she's engaged to Tommy Sands. I don't think he would appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you very much. <clears throat> Elvis, you think the uh, music is... I heard him say, thank you very much. Not him, but somebody in the background. Since you've been out of the service? I mean, since you've been in the service? Possibly, yes. I, 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 I can't say, really. I haven't been here long enough to even know. The, no. Excuse me. The, the only thing I can say is that uh, uh, if it has changed, well, I would be foolish not to try to change with it, you know. But as of now, I have no reason to, to change anything. As to your uh, acting, you have stated you would like to be a more serious actor. And uh, do you plan to uh, possibly go to some uh, school? This makes me upset. I'm watching this interview, y'all, and it's making me even more upset at the fact that he's no longer physically present with us on Earth. Like, I can't stress enough that I'm pretty upset that I was born in this time, and I didn't get the opportunity to, like, meet Elvis. My mom didn't get the opportunity. Oh, my lady, I said she didn't get the opportunity to meet Elvis. No, she didn't. Like... Or some dramatic school? I wouldn't... Y'all, come on. Let's all go get some shovels and let's go dig Elvis up, okay? Let's go... No, he won't... We gonna let him rest. We gonna let him rest, but... I mean, I don't know. He not. He probably not even in the ground, is he? Is he in one of those... I can't even think of the, the proper name. Like, you know... Y'all help me out, please. My brain fried. I need to go to school, but I, uh, I, I learn best by experience. Uh, I never was very good in schools of any kind. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it, it, it's going to take me a long time and a lot of experience. Okay. But that is your ultimate ambition? But uh, as of the present time, it really is. That's what I want to do. Y'all these ads. Y'all can't about, even see uh, it coming, hey. but it boom, there it go. There go the this Klaviyo, little funky this ad. <laughs> the Clavio customer platform unifies all your data in one place. Okay, that's cool. We're gonna go back to Elvis now. Sinatra. Okay, about, let me stop. Uh, any romance? Did you leave any heart, shall we say, in uh, Germany? <laughs> uh, what that mean? Not any special one. Uh so that means he had some flings or whatever when he was away up in Germany. Because the way he was like, and then he was just like, not no special ones. Ah. There was a little girl that I was I was seeing quite often over there that uh, her father was in the Air Force. and Actually, they only got over there about two months before I left. I was seeing her, and she was at the train at the airport when I left. And uh, there were some pictures made of her. <laughs> But it was no big, it was no big romance. I mean, uh, the, the stories came out, the girl he left behind, and, <laughs> and all that. It, it wasn't, it wasn't like that, I mean. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. I had to be careful when I answer a question like that. <laughs> <laughs> in, your, in your service, service life, which did you find It's just, he got this seductive you, look, it's just. Training? Or when you got over into Germany, over with the experienced soldiers, which uh, which gave you the hardest time? I can't even do it, y'all. Well, basic training wasn't hard for me at all. Uh, it was harder afterwards. After I had gotten into a, a regular outfit, uh, not the service itself, but just the surroundings, and I was in a strange land, and uh, uh, the outfit I was in, they had quite a bit of field duty. We stayed in the field six months out of the year. And it gets cold in Germany. <laughs> it snows quite a bit. And uh, uh, it was pretty hard to adjust to. 
One thing further on that. Uh, do you have any advice for the boys your age who are now going to have to put in a certain amount of duty with, uh, in the service? Well, the only thing I can say is to, uh, to play it straight and, and, and to do your best because you can't fight them. <laughs> <laughs> they've, never, they've never lost yet. You know? <laughs> and you can't fight them. So uh, you can make it easier, you can make it hard on yourself. I mean, if you play it straight, get the people on your side, let them know you're trying, you, you, as the arm would say, you've got it made. And if you're going to try to be an individual or try to be different, you're going to go through two years of misery. <laughs> Elvis, when do you think you'll record again? And when you do, do you think you'll lean toward the ballad-type music or the more upbeat sounds? Well... As far as when I record, I, I, I really don't know. Possibly this week or next week. And what I record, I, I don't know yet. Uh, I've got quite a few songs to choose from. I've collected over the two years, but I don't know exactly uh, what type or what instruments I use, whether it be uh, the Firestone Orchestra or <laughs> <laughs> Monty Bonnie or what. <laughs> I really don't know yet. <clears throat> <laughs> you said that uh, you said that uh, at the train that the uh, that you wanted to get back to what you were doing, and of course that is singing and entertaining. And I take it from that that, that you really enjoy what you were or what you were doing before you went to service. I'm sorry, oh, y'all. Yes, I'm in my I head. Uh, in fact, that was the hardest part of the entire military service is being away from it. Being away from the fans and the just, just being away from show business all the time. That, that was the hardest part of all. It wasn't the Army, it wasn't the other men. It was that. It stayed on my mind. I kept thinking about the past all the time, contemplating the future. And that was, that was uh, the hardest part. We know your family status is changed. Love that music. Are you going to keep Graceland? Do you have plans of moving away from Memphis? No, sir, I have no plans for leaving this. And you're going to keep Grayson? I'm going to keep Grayson as long as I possibly can. <laughs> <laughs> well, was, this, <clears throat> was this Christmas tree a surprise? Well, since it's uh, March, uh, it's a little surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Not the Christmas tree in March, y'all. But you know, you know, some of us put them Christmas trees up at the Thanksgiving. We don't take it down to before um, Valentine's Day. <laughs> uh, that's the tree we used in 1957. We can leave the Christmas tree long enough uh, about your tonsils and the uh, tonsillectomy that you were contemplating while you were in the service. Did you deliberately ask that it be held off until you could get to the United States and the local doctor? No, sir. Did they I, improve I, that much? I didn't ask that. Uh, uh, they don't like to perform surgery of any kind in, in Europe. Mm -hmm. They don't like to. If it's, if it's an emergency, they will. But uh, I took penicillin and uh, wonder drugs or whatever they call it. You, <laughs> and you I, I got no okay. Huh? I, had, I had two attacks of tonsillitis when I was there. Oh, you like the food over there? Tonsillitis is, is ugh, but I had my tonsils and adenoids removed. So, yeah, but tonsil... Uh, outside of the Army, when you would go out, you know, did you like that type of food? I never went out. So. <laughs> you never uh, ate out in a restaurant? I never, I never ate in a restaurant the entire time I was in Germany. Hmm. Funny. I either ate in the mess hall or at home. One of the two. I, I never, in fact, I never went anywhere while I was in Europe except to Paris. I went to Paris and uh, on a leave, and that was all. Why? Now, I would have been sightseeing you now. Uh, well, it's a pretty difficult question to answer because anything I'll say, uh, it might sound a little uh, like I'm bragging, you know. <laughs> uh, but it was pretty much the same. Pretty much the same there is here. They had seen a lot of your movies. And, and, and the records and so forth. Okay. I'm upset that it had to end like that. Like... Man, oh man, I'm so... No. I mean, I mean, you know, that that's something that I could just, you know, keep playing straight through. But we ain't gonna play that. We're gonna, we gonna end that video right there like that. I enjoyed it. He was super laid back. Like, Elvis, I'm learning. It's like, he's super laid back and... 
very chill very relaxed you know he answered the questions with ease you could definitely tell, tell that he was you know cautious you know not necessarily like extra cautious but you can tell when one thinks before they speak type of thing but he was the most definitely just chill like i love his energy he cracked jokes here and there you know what i'm saying kept a smile smile was very very contagious his energy is very very contagious i don't know if i seen elvis next to me i would be nervous not just because oh my god he's handsome but just because like just the way he talked like his he has an amazing voice um his music and stuff like that and it was just you know super cute that he missed his fans and his and the music so much because i don't know what i would do without music to be completely honest i really don't know what i would do without music i just be really lost without music if i'm being honest so this is pretty cool i enjoyed the interview he got to sh you know we got to listen to or i got to listen to his experiences in the army out the army and stuff like that like it was pretty cool I would have never thought he would have went to the army, you know, but hey, I like the military stuff. I was in what well, army ROTC in high school, um, the Navy stuff. So, you know, I get it. I get it. But anyway, guys, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction video just as much as I enjoyed reacting to it. Now, comment down below, guys. Give me more things that you guys would like to see me react to. I do pay attention to the comments. I try to interact with each and every one of you guys. Since, you know, the channel's not that big, we're growing. But even if after we grow even bigger, I'm still going to be interacting with y'all because that's the point. So that's the point. But anyway, guys, <laughs> don't forget to like this video. Thumbs it up. On your way out, guys, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and ring that bell. So when I drop another video, you guys will be notified and you won't miss it. But as always, I appreciate you guys for coming and kicking and vibe out with me. But you know it's time to go. You ain't got to go home, but you got to.